Battlefield 2042 Season 6, edgily named Dark Creations, has been out for about two weeks now, and DICE has somehow, and I'll admit shockingly to me, done the impossible. They have surpassed the peak total player count on Steam with 107,000 concurrent players. That's more than the launch numbers, an over 200% increase in the past 30 days. Why and how? Well, I think there's a few reasons, but before all of that, I just want to first nip in the bud the narrative that this is a comeback to the level of Battlefield 4 or greater. Battlefield 2042 had a completely horrendous and very well-known launch. This is nothing new, and looking back, they've made some meaningful improvements to how the game feels and looks. However, we just need to be so aware of the narrative that DICE wants to create here. Articles touting the studio as the comeback kids and the masters of fixing their games are not a good thing. This is not a positive reputation to have. Has 2042 improved? Yes. I would even say substantially so in some areas. Is it an incredible and amazing Battlefield game? Absolutely not. While improvements have been made, the fundamentals with the specialist system, the issues with the weapon and gunplay, the floaty movement and arcadey nature of the gameplay, the lack of destruction, the completely terrible map design and lack of server browser, and other quality of life stapled features will forever hold this title back from being, to me, an amazing Battlefield game. Is it a fun first person shooter? I mean sure, it's kind of a fun arcadey experience. I certainly am enjoying season 6 more than the others, but the content is still pathetically thin. And with the frankly embarrassing map reworks being completed last season, no new specialists being added, and no new portal additions, the fact that season 6 is only a single map and a handful of guns is frankly kind of sad for a studio of DICE's supposed caliber and resources. As a reminder, this is not some small indie developer, this is a multi-million dollar company that can't seem to even get it together enough to deliver even two maps for one season. Am I entitled? Maybe. Probably. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure. It's free content, after all, but compared to the premium expansion packs of Last Battlefields, the live service model for me remains a complete and utter failure. All that being said, I am actually happy that 2042 is enjoying a bit of a resurgence, as I don't want the franchise I love to just fail completely. But it strangely leaves a bitter taste in my mouth that this just reinforces to DICE that if you drip feed content and deliver the bare minimum over and over, then eventually all will be forgiven and forgotten, as players continue to flock to your title. There was of course a free weekend and heavily discounted sale, with the game going to only $10. However, with the player numbers holding strong even after the free weekend, I'm assuming many new players picked up the game for cheap and had their friends purchase it as well. As for $10, it's a pretty good value, and by now there's a decent amount of content, even if two of the three main game modes are completely abandoned and for the most part dead. So yes, it's a weirdly bittersweet feeling to see 2042 blow up, and if DICE follows their usual routine, right about now is when they will announce the cutting off of support for 2042, as they focus on maybe a new game. It's a cycle we saw with Battlefield 5 after the amazing Pacific expansion that brought a lot of players back, and Battlefront 2, just as they fixed so many of that game's flaws and its player base also had a resurgence. If they don't ride this train by hyping up and announcing a Season 7 like now, then they will have completely missed a huge opportunity for good PR and player retention. However, I'm not going to hold my breath as DICE's recent incompetence the past few years has lowered the bar well below ground. As for Season 6 and 2042 overall, how is it playing and is it worth it? I still recommend 2042 on a deep sale. Like the recent $10 one for example, I think it's a really good value for a fun FPS arcade shooter, especially given the FPS market at the moment. The newly added map Redacted is actually a pretty good time. If you want to re-trigger your Metro and Locker PTSD, then you'll have a pretty good time, as this is basically the meat grinder for 2042. I honestly have no idea why people want so desperately a Metro or Locker in 2042. Don't get me wrong, I love infantry focused experiences, but a long tunnel of endless choke points is just not that interesting to me. However, Redacted does have a lot of merit and I'm enjoying Conquest on it so far. In the past, I enjoyed the occasional Metro or Locker round here and there, but I have no idea how people just poured hundreds of hours into the 24-7 Metro servers of Battlefield 3 and 4. It's just mind-numbing to me. The thing is, an infantry-only experience doesn't just mean meat grinder with no vehicles. There are so many incredibly well-designed and fun infantry-focused maps throughout the Battlefield series that aren't just a narrow choke point hallway, but instead provide a small playground for some pure, fun gunplay. Pearl Market, Flood Zone, Grand Bazaar, these should have been more of the design mindset for the newest map, Redacted. All that being said, if you aren't playing Breakthrough and if one team doesn't absolutely stomp the other into their own spawn, this map isn't quite as meat grinder-ish as those past maps. There's actually many flanking opportunities and a few more open areas to have some decent firefights within them. I will say Breakthrough is kind of a nightmare as 2042 still features so many explosive and spotting gadgets that attempting to flank or push can be futile for the attackers. 2042 in general has just way too much 
spotting, and with the recent suppressor nerfs that basically require you to use subsonic ammo, it feels harder than ever to not instantly be spotted and smoked by the other team. Sadly, as much as I've enjoyed Redacted so far, and I do look forward to the mid-season Halloween event, it honestly feels like right now I've experienced everything this map has to offer. If there was even one other new map to mix up the season gameplay in fresh new ways, it would have done a massive amount of lifting to create a truly varied and great season of content. Even just one more map. Dice, please. Will 2042 retain its massive surge in players? I'm honestly not sure. I never really saw the game breaking its launch numbers, so we are in a bit of uncharted territory regarding the popularity of the title. Let me know in the comments if you've recently picked up 2042, what you think of it, or if you've been playing and enjoying Season 6. And that's it, just a nice quick video. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, until next time.